Right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, Honda GL 1500, oil and filters change. This is one of the simplest servicing tasks you can think of. A motorcycle like this strikes fear into the heart of many simple home mechanics. It really is a complex machine, but Honda make them very easy to take care of. In fact, they're largely self-sufficient. All they need is clean oil and filters at the regular intervals, and they're fine. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know I've done the cam belts, the spark plugs, and the coolant already. So today, we're gonna to do the oil, oil filter, and air filter, and that's all the servicing done. After that, it's a full safety check because tomorrow it's got its MOT test. So let's get busy.
Okay, now like with many bikes, there's a right and a wrong way to check the oil on your Honda Goldwing. And the simple procedure is fill it up to the point where it just shows on the dipstick. Once you're happy there, drop the dipstick in, screw it into place, put the cap back on, run the engine till you're up to working temperature and your fan kicks in. Then you know it's hot enough. Switch it off, rest for five minutes on an upright position. Always check the oil upright on a gold wing. Once it's rested for five minutes, all that oil's back in the sump. Pull out your dipstick, wipe it clean, drop it in and let it rest on the threads. Don't screw it in, let it rest at the top, then pick it back out. And if it's not at the right level, then you can put a little bit more in. If you've overdone it, then you can use a syringe and draw a little bit out ever so easy. But that's it. Mine's bang on first time. Happy with that. Now let's change the air filter, do the walk round check for the MOT and we're ready to go. Right, okay, I think whenever we get the chance to upgrade from a standard throwaway factory filter to a washable air filter, we should take that opportunity because it's greener for the environment and it's more sensible for your pocket. This is the original factory thing. It's awful on every level. It's that hard, brittle throwaway plastic that can't melt down and be recycled. Paper and this metal mesh on the other side. That really is nasty. And every 5,000 miles, you throw it away. They're about 30 pounds as well. They're not even cheap. So that's going out of it. And this is a washable Simota filter that will last the life of the bike. So you buy it once and fit it in. Price-wise, it's about 25% more to buy, but you buy it once. So actually it will keep saving you money as the years go by. So I will leave a link to this Simota filter in the description below if you want to treat yourself to one, but check your airbox first to make sure there's not already one there because more and more people fit washable filters because it's just common sense, isn't it?